Interior Movie Theater, Chicago, night. A theater of festival goers eagerly wait for the film to begin. A sense of restlessness. No, anticipation fills the air. The patrons quickly fall under the spell of the narrator, whose voice is a cross between burnished leather and the singing of a hundred very attractive angels. Toward the front of the theater, a young couple argues, kisses, fidgets. The young man starts to drape his arm around his date before abruptly losing his nerve. A few rows behind them, a pedantic middle-aged man explains the enduring influence of Varda, Kurosawa, Bergman, to his unsuspecting seat neighbor, who did not ask. A cell phone rings loudly as his owner anxiously searches their pockets. Other patrons sigh audibly. An elderly woman quietly, loudly, tells her husband that he should have thought about going to the bathroom earlier. He sheepishly gets up. Several latecomers shuffle in. One of them balances an armful of concessions while loudly slurping their soda. Sitting alone in the back, a barista, dog walker, film school graduate smiles silently as she reads the screen. Maybe she'll finish writing that screenplay after all. Cut to the Chicago International Film Festival. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 57th Chicago International Film Festival's awards announcement, where we celebrate the winners from this year's festival. My name is Vivian Tang, and I'm managing director, and together with Mimi Ploche, one of the co-heads of the Chicago International Film Festival. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. The festival is truly a labor of love for us, and this year has meant more to us than ever as we return to theaters. The human connection is stronger than ever this year, and we're united by our universal love of cinema. I'd like to acknowledge the extraordinary work of artistic director Mimi Ploche, senior programmer Anthony Kaufman, programmers Sam Flancher, Amir George, Raul Benitez, and Emily Eddy, and the entire festival team for helping shape and present this year's festival. To our filmmakers, thank you for sharing your stories with us and your films with us. Your stories and creativity continue to inspire us and to broaden our perspectives. Thank you to our jury members from around the world who've had the challenging task of watching so many films and awarding winners from such an impressive lineup. A very special thank you to Ogilvy, our ad agency, for creating our fantastic cut to trailer and campaign. I've watched it countless times, as I'm sure you have as well, and it makes me smile and laugh every single time. To our sponsors and partners led by Goldman Sachs and Xfinity, thank you for being a champion of the arts and for believing in the power of cinema. And to you, our audience who's watching, thank you for being a part of this year's festival, for welcoming us, welcoming us into your home for our online portion or joining other film lovers in the theater. So we're ready for awards. Please welcome shorts programmer Amir George, who will start with the animated short film competition. Thank you, Vivian. Our jury members this year were Josh May, Candace Majors, and Alexandra Ramirez, part Neon Fever Dream, part psychedelic parable, and I catch, in, I, I catch in adrenaline rush with a cautionary tale at the center, the bond between brother and sister and the meaning to one's existence. The Silver Hugo Award for animation goes to Nuevo Rico, directed by Christian Mercado. Oh, wow. Damn. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, my God. I'm so honored. Thank you so much. That is so... Wow. Yo, thank you. So honored for, by uh, this award. Thank you so much. Yeah, Nuevo Rico. I should say something something profound and important right now. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much for honoring us. Um, I felt like Nuevo Rico for me was a really big labor of love. A lot of people worked on it. So I want to thank everyone who like was a part of it and everyone who supported it and been on this journey. And um, it's really a big like uh, film that showcases like what's possible, I think, in cinema in a big way, because, you know, oftentimes we don't see ourselves in certain field like mediums, especially when it comes to like sci fi and futurism. And, you know, there, I think there's something powerful about saying something about our past and the future. And um, for me, it's important for us to see ourselves in the future. And I think that, um, yeah, I'm just really honored by this. So thank you so much for like uh, awarding us. Bless. <laughs> Thank you, Christian. Uh, our, for our next award, with an irresistible animation by the bittersweet gaze of the director, 
the jury found a reflection full of humor about childhood and its expectations versus the reality of adulthood. The Gold Hugo Award for Animation goes to Affairs of the Art, directed by Joanna Quinn. What the? This is what Beryl said when she received the news. Thank you so much. Yeah, oh my thanks goodness. a million. This is fantastic news for us, especially because we actually won a Silver Hugo with you, I think in 2007. So it's like coming back home. <laughs> <laughs> Such a shame we can't be there. Um, hope you all have a fantastic time or you've had a fantastic time at the festival and uh just to say um this is such an honor and yeah, absolutely um, absolutely because uh such a well-respected festival and little us so that's brilliant thank you very much thank you to the jury um of course for choosing us and uh i suppose <clears throat> we should thank um the national film board because it's a co-production with them um, our producer there, Michael Fukushima, and everybody who made the film with us here in Wales. So, thanks very much. Yeah, thanks again. Fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. Great. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Moving into our documentary, our short documentary category. Um, this year's jury was comprised of uh, Neville Shinar, Ala Morgan Elise Johnson, and D.S. Chun. Joining us today, please allow me to welcome juror members D.S. Chan and Morgan Elise Johnson. Um, hi, everybody. Uh, this short documentary uh, centered on the audiovisual archive of a great Western empire's entry into the space race. It immersed us in a dysphoria of scale that one would feel trying to film the successful launch of that rocket. Um, that becomes a foundation for the inheritance of the diaspora that the building of the launch pad caused. Transforming the meaning of a black frame with white specks into both the attempt to film this colonial victory symbol in the dark night sky with a home movie camera and filling the same frames with the meaning of heartbreak and loss into the succession of nearly blank frames. This film's utilization of cinematic craft and storytelling magic and its exploration of the French archive as a tool for telling the story of the community of Balmanary in Guyana that it erased. The Silver Hugo Award goes to Audrey Jean Baptiste and Maxime Jean Baptiste for listening to the beat of our images. Uh, so thank you very much. Uh, I'm I'm really moved uh, uh, by this uh, award. Really, um, I have a, a special uh, thought uh, to my uh, brother, uh, which is the co-director of this movie. Um, it's the first time uh, we work together. We did movies by ourselves, and we decided to work together for. Uh, the first time, so um, so it was. Uh, we, we were really um, uh, honored to be selected at such a, a great festival, and so the award is just uh, like a, a, a cherry on the cake. So uh, I'm really moved. Sorry, I'm a bit intimidated. So my English is just a uh, woo, and um, uh, I, I dedicate this uh, award to uh, the Shosho family, uh, which uh, we work with to make this movie. And uh, my sound was not so good, so I didn't hear all the words you said. Uh, but uh, thanks a lot to the jury; it really means a lot to us. And and uh, that this uh, Guyanese, this French Guyanese story, uh, uh, moved you uh, in the U.S. So thanks a lot, and I hope uh, we'll see uh, we we could go in real at Chicago for the festival. But uh, yes, uh, I'm really moved. Yeah, really. So thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Thanks. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm going to be presenting our short film jury competition winner, um, an enthralling commentary that pulls us into the violence and disconnectedness of an increasingly globalized world. Greetings from Myanmar epitomizes what short form documentary can be. The work asks us to reexamine our sense of place, position, and privilege using images and testimony that play on beauty, horror, and the absurd. The filmmakers employ the familiar aesthetic of what we see in a five-star travel resort commercial while drawing out the aspects of colonialism and tourism that Western culture teaches us to ignore, the intrusiveness of whiteness and the complexity and politics of safety. 
After I watched this film for the third time, I began to research this region and its people, which I had not previously learned of. I learned that there is a Rohingya cultural center here in Chicago that supports refugees and that Chicago is home to 1600 refugee, refugees, one of the largest refugee communities in the United States. I learned that just like your film, the Rohingya here in Chicago primarily work in the service industry and is in dire need of our support. Greetings from Myanmar challenges us to do more, to see people as more than a product or service, to commit ourselves to making this world more safe and free. This is the power of documentary and I commend you on this cinematic achievement. The impact of your art will not only help the Rohingya people, but it can help shape how we view colonialism, classism, and all refugee communities. Thank you so much for this offering. Um, Suniva Sunbi and Andreas Reeser, you are the first place winners. Hello from Norway, and thank you to the jury for this award. It means a lot to both the co-director Andreas Reeser and to me. Um, a special thanks to the production company Bacon in Oslo for helping us out and thanks to the festival for selecting our short to this year's uh, festival program. It means a lot. So yeah, thank you. Now to introduce our live action jury, our live action short film jury members, Blair Baines, Marari Jarima and Monica Sorrell joining us today is jury member Monica Sorrell. Thank you, Amir. It's an honor to represent my fellow jurors in presenting the awards for Chicago International Film Festival's live action shorts. The Silver Hugo goes to an exquisitely choreographed, beautifully constructed, self-contained dream world with a surreal nightmarish look into the class disparities between the elite and the inner lives of those that serve them. It is with great honor and privilege that we present the Silver Hugo to Filipiniana by Rafael Manuel. On behalf of the team, I just wanted to say um, thank you very much to the jury, of course, uh, to the festival team and to uh, the audiences. Um, our film Filipiniana is uh, very much a film about the Philippines, so it warms our heart greatly to know that our struggles are uh, resonate. They resonate and uh, are heard and felt and uh, and seen by audiences in Chicago. Um, I hope to see you all someday soon. Uh, hopefully in a cinema in Chicago. But until then, uh, thank you again very much for continuing to champion cinema amidst all these uncertain times. So thank you very much, and it's an honor. Thank you. And now to present the Gold Hugo. We found this film so impactful in its humor, its sensitivity, and in its ambition, blending science fiction and reality to create a moving portrait on the power of imagination for working class women in the global South. We are proud to present The Gold Hugo to Cireal by Carlos Segundo. Hello, Chicago. Hello, everyone. I'm Carlos Segundo from Brazil. Uh, director of Sideral. I'd like to thank the festival and especially the jury members. Uh, we know the, the Chicago Film Festival is one of the most important f uh, festival in the world and it's an honor for us uh, to be here receiving this award. Uh, I hope next time I can be there in person to celebrate together and that's it. See you soon. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. My name is Anthony Kaufman. I'm the senior programmer here at the festival. And um, I'm going to uh, introduce our Chicago Award jury and the Chicago Award, which is a uh, selects the best film made in Chicago, Illinois, or by a, a local filmmaker um, based in the area. Um, so we had six features and eight shorts in this uh, category um, that were all competing for the Chicago Award. Our jurors 
um, as you can see on the screen here, Andre Muir, who actually won our Chicago Award last year for his short film, Patois. Filmmaker Jenny Shi, whose feature debut, Finding Ying Ying, won numerous awards and played at last year's film festival. And Emmy winner, John Siskel, co-director of Louder Than a Bomb and The Road Up, winner of last year's documentary audience award at the festival. So we had uh, uh, three great filmmakers who participated in last year's uh, festival. And to announce the winner of the Chicago Award, Andre Muir. Hi everyone. Um, just want to say thank you so much to the festival and, and I'm so honored to be a part of this jury and, and thank you to the rest of the jury members. Um, so starting off, we wanted to start with a, uh, um, we wanted to give out an, an honorable mention and that goes to um, cl uh, Close Ties to Home Country, written, directed and starring Akansha Kuzinski. Um, it's a cheeky, funny, and heartfelt rumination on invisible stories of many first-generation immigrants trying to survive and find meaning in life while separated from their loved ones back home. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much. And um, moving on to um, the actual Chicago Award, um, Any Given Day is a powerful and genuine portrait of what life is like while living with mental illness. Through an intimate and compassionate lens, the film observes the joy and struggles of three subjects as they participate in the Cook County Mental Health Court Probation Program and their friendships with the filmmaker as she confronts her own history of mental illness. Crafted with love, respect, bravery, and deep empathy, the film not only destigmatizes mental illness, but also contemplates a better way to support those in need. Thank you for the award. I am honored. Uh, I'd, I'd like to first thank the Any Given Day team that, that um, made this film with me. And I'd especially like to thank Angela, Daniel, Demeter, and Gina, and Judge Edidin for participating in this project and hanging in with me all these years. Uh, thank you to the Chicago International Film Festival and to the jury. We're so excited. Uh, for for the future and and all that we will uh, do with this film. Thanks so much. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you, Anthony, um, and con big congratulations to all of the award winners so far. So as Anthony mentioned, my name is Mimi Plochet, and I'm artistic director of the Chicago International Film Festival. And now I am proud to announce the winners of our Outlook competition. Chicago International Film Festival has been recognizing LGBTQ films since its inception, honoring such directors as Rainer Werner Fassbender, Amos Gutai Gutmann, Don Cameron Mitchell, Bill Condon, and Gus Van Sant, among many others. The Q Hugo Award celebrates the talents of queer filmmakers and films from around the world. This year's Outlook jury, as you can see, included Hong Kong-based filmmaker and chairman of the Hong Kong Gay and Lesbian Film Festival, Ray Young, filmmaker and film and video curator at the Victoria and Albert Museum in London, Emily Harris, and French actor, known for his work with celebrated filmmakers, including Francois Ozon and Gael Morel, Stéphane Rideau. Thank you to all of our jury members. So this year, the jury awarded a special mention um, to Jacques Odiard's Paris 13th District. They awarded it for its absolute charm, its freshness, and for the superb interpretation of its actors. It is a romantico carnal fresco, superbly and fully mastered by Jacques Odiard's brilliant eye and undeniable talent. The Silver Hugo goes to Hamaguchi Ryusuke's Wheel of Fortune and Fantasy. The Silver Q Hugo um, is presented to this film, a fascinating film about coincidences which open up our imaginations. The three actors, the three stories in the film start with familiar situations, but they all end up different from what was expected. The encounters depict poignant moments about human behavior, desire, revenge, deception, regret, and jealousy. All the characters are unpredictable yet authentic. They are full of anxiety, but also filled with hope. And ultimately, their lies lead them to face the truth. Subtle and measured, this film about human connection is deeply and quietly affecting. And we have a video from filmmaker Yusuke Hamaguchi accepting the award. 
えー、こんにちは。偶然と創造監督脚本を担当した浜口隆介です、えー。シカゴ国際映画祭アウトルックの部門でシルバーヒューゴ賞、えー、偶然と創造がいただいたということで、えー、本当にありがとうございます。光栄に思っています。えー、オムニバスで3話ある中の特にまあ第3話を評価をしていただいているんではないかというふうに思います。えー、ここに出演されている浦部房子さん、えー、河江青さん、えー、そのお二人の、まあ、基本的にはもう会話で進行していく話、一日のしかも本当に短い時間の話なんですけれども、この2人の演技のおかげでこの2人がまあ本当にまあここまでの人生生きてきたんだなとそういう悩みとか苦しみっていうのをまあ抱えながら今こうしてあの出会っているんだなっていうことをまあ本当に信じられる形で説得力を持って演じていただいたその結果の受賞だというふうに思っていますそれを見つけてくれた審査員の皆さんに心からお礼を申し上げます本当に光栄ですありがとうございます And last but not least,、um, the gold Hugh Hugo is awarded to Great Freedom by director Sebastian m i e s e It is a, they recognize it as a film that is masterful in its craft. The m i s e en scene, the acting, cinematography, design, pace, and script are all faultless. It is a film full of deep themes that percolate the human condition while effectively portraying the impact of this pertinent and important moment in history. The jury says we found the film to be beautiful and poignant, tackling complex emotion with absolute precision. It is specific, yet at the same time feels metaphorical and universal because Great Freedom is not only a film about injustice, the injustices of a post war era, but it is also a tremendous and tender love story, story brilliantly navigated through the nuance of great filmmaking and acting. Its achievement is that the film makes us think about so much more than its subject matter and becomes a reflection on what it means to be free. It is a perfectly balanced blend of the personal and the political. And we're very happy to have with us here Sebastian to accept the award. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Sebastian.、Um, hello. Hi,、um, hello from Vienna. It's,、um, Thank you so much. It's a, it's a really, really great honor. Thanks to the jury、um, and thanks for, to the festival also to, for, for, for having our film. Thanks for the beautiful words. It's,、um, it's, really, um, it's really, I'm also very moved.、Um, it's, um, it's really great.、Um, thank you so much. And um, um, yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Hello, everyone. My name is Sam p l a n c h e r I'm a programmer here, and I'm thrilled to be announcing this year's new directors competition. The Chicago International Film Festival, from its inception, was founded on the principle of discovery.、Uh, we discovered many first time directors Martin Scorsese, Christoph Zanussi, Vim Benders, Oliver Stone. There's many more、uh, that have been showcased at the festival and in our new directors competition specifically. These are films that are screening for the first time in the US. And these bold works from emerging talent showcase exciting new voices in international cinema. Our new director's jury is associate curator at the Art Institute of Chicago, Robin Farrell,、uh, film director Lily Horvath. She directed Preparations to Be Together for an Unknown Period of Time, which won the Gold Hugo at this competition last year at the 56th Chicago International Film Festival. Film director Joel Caracasi, whose Mercy of the Jungle received the Silver Hugo at the 54th. Chicago International Film Festival. So, thank you to the jury for your excellent selections. I will read their commendation text here.、Um, so, starting off with The Silver Hugo, set in Colombia in 1998, this film's captivating tale follows a single mother's harrowing race against time as she attempts to rescue her son from enforced military service. Tilted after the protagonist, Titled after the protagonist, Amparo is both a moving portrait of a mother's love and determination and a gripping critique of the patriarchal society and unscrupulous characters she encounters in order to keep her family safe. This debut feature is masterfully rendered through C- director Simon Meza Soto's lens, which navigates the chaotic and corrupt setting of Medellin from a deeply intimate perspective. So the Silver Hugo goes to Amparo from Colombia, directed by Simon Meza Soto. And Simon is here if you want to say a few words. Hello.、Um, hello from Colombia.、Um, thanks a lot. This is amazing.、Uh, I have a A story with the Chicago Film Festival with my shorts.、Uh, I have won the Gold Hugo、uh, twice. So for me, this is like an honor again. 
and is a, like a uh, I feel like I have a, a connection with with this festival and being here is is amazing. Thanks to the festival, the programmers, the jewelry, and thanks to to the crew, the whole crew of the team, my partner who is watching this, the producer and cinematographer Juan Sarmiento, the actress that Sandra, she is the film. And thank you for letting us show a part of uh, uh, the life in Colombia back in the 90s. I think it's important, it was important for me to, to show uh, a perspective of how, how it could be. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Simone. Yeah, what a thrill to have two uh, short films win our competition and then to be an award winner here in our new director's competition. Um, and now moving on, uh, the winner of this year's Gold Hugo for the new director's competition tells the story of a day when a child, child feels all alone in the world, even though he is surrounded by hundreds of people. In a snowbound boarding school somewhere in eastern Anatolia, in a world that is based on punishment and humiliation, 11-year-old Yusuf is desperately trying to stay true to himself and his best friend Memo. As the meticulously constructed plot comes to a surprising and utterly original turning point, we realize that it is even harder for him than we had thought. For its poignant portrayal of friendship, fidelity, fear, and culpability, the gold Hugo goes to Brother's Keeper by Ferret Karahan. And we have Ferret here to say a few words. Hi, hi everyone. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the festival. Thank you for the duty. Really, I didn't expect that. And uh, wow, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's a, such a big honor. And uh, I want to thank you, my producer, Kanat Oramachi, who took me uh, and actually put me in the, in the very deep hole. And also I want to uh, thank you for my daughter and which is the, she's my, uh, she's my, liked and also i want to thank to asteros and company and production company and uh, intra movies and flama booking i want to dedicate to this ever to my my co-writer my wife and my life to giristana jet and uh, she from the beginning she was she was um, being my eyes and I couldn't say anything else and thank you so much I, I'm so happy and thank you thank you for that. Um, moving on to our next competition uh, the international documentary competition um, I'm really excited about uh, this year's um, jury we had um, it's kind of exciting you know one thing about being virtual as our jury was this year is we could have people from all over the world so um, it was uh, a little bit difficult to schedule that jury meeting with the different time zones, um, but uh, we made it work. And um, yeah, it was great. We had Oscar nominated producer, Julie Goldman, who's produced films directed by Steve James, Nan Fu Wang, Roger Ross Williams, and this year's Velvet Underground. And three alumni of our documentary competition uh, from Australia, Sari, Sar Sari Braithwaite, whose film Censored won the best documentary at the 2018 Film Festival. Bruno Santamaria of Mexico, whose Things We Dare Not Do took home the top prize last year. And Emmy-winning Israeli documentary filmmaker and journalist Maya Zinstein, whose films Forever Pure and Till Kingdom Come both played in our competition. So um, we, um, yeah, we're very happy to have all of them participating this year. We we looked at, uh, to get to the eight films in this year's competition, most of them world, North American and US premieres. We looked at uh, our programming team, 835 feature documentaries. So of those uh, over 800, uh, uh, we had eight in competition and two winners. And to announce the winners is Bruno Santamaria from Mexico. Thank you so much, Bruno. Well, uh, very good day to everybody. Uh, I can say uh, on behalf of all the jury, we really appreciate the invitation to see an incredible selection of films that touch us in different ways. And we felt really honored to discuss every movie to arrive uh, to a decision. Uh, and well, the, the Silver Hugo goes to Baby Yard Context, directed by Sergei Lotnitsa. 
this uh, masterfully crafted study of a human catastrophe that stands out in World War II history for its barbarism illustrates the depth of war's power to dehumanize a people as it disposes of them through the advent of unspeakable horrors. And yet this is also a deeply human film. The use of archival footage confers human dignity in a profoundly moving, haunting, and impactful way within this unfolding human tragedy. Immersive, captivating, and deeply distressing, Babillar context makes clear Bearing witness to such past tragedies is the first step if we are ever to see the world today in a true light. Congratulations. Hello, uh, good uh, morning, uh, day, evening, night. Hello, everyone. Uh, we are now from Vilnius uh, in uh, editing place with the uh, editor of the film. Hello. <laughs> so Hello. we work on the new film. Uh, uh, I hope it will be next year in Chicago. <laughs> so, <clears throat> and uh, uh, it's a <clears throat> great honor to have uh, uh, this uh, prize. Uh, and uh, it, it's uh, uh, very important for the film. Uh, and uh, uh, thank you, Jury, for this uh, prize. And I would like to thank uh, uh, Babin Yar Holocaust Memorial Center, uh, 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 who uh, 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 support this uh, film uh, and commissioned this film. Uh, so, and uh, I can say just uh, the true saying truth, uh, it's uh, very easy, but uh, accepting truth is uh, so difficult. And uh, uh, this is why it's so important to tell this uh, uh, story again and again. And uh, uh, I hope this uh, prize help us to uh, uh, release and show film uh, uh, in all the world and even in the United States. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Again, congratulations. And well, uh, uh, the Gold Hugo goes to SCAL, directed by Cecil de Bell and Maria Torgaro, exquisitely filmed in the immersive landscape of a remote island in the North Sea. SCAL explores the inner and outer landscapes of a young couple emerging lives within the newly expanding world of adulthood. This intimate lyrical portrait comes in a richly poetic Form that speaks to the insider-outsider dynamic that storytellers so often embody in order to gain new perspectives. The early experiences of exploring one's sense of place and belonging is set against the yearning and fears that comes from choosing a creative life within a conservative community, offering a shorthand on how to be brave and open to a wide world. And here are Cecil and Maria. Hi, oh my god, this is such a huge honor. Um, I'll just, uh, I'll wait for my co-director, Cecilia, as well. Hey. <laughs> hey, yes. hey. Oh. <laughs> yes, it's, um, thank you so much to the jury. Um, I think we're both like very overwhelmed and surprised and honored. So it means a lot. And uh, we cannot wait to, to, to tell the protagonists because uh, it's been quite a journey um, with them and especially for, for Dania who had to build up a lot of courage to, to go through this whole process and, um, and her very supportive uh, boyfriend, inspiring boyfriend, Twikwe. So yes, and um, thanks to the whole team behind the film. Um, thanks to our production company made in Copenhagen and to Kik Pictures and to the Danish Film Institute for for your support yeah. yes thank you so much for everyone else involved this is amazing thank mm. you yeah such a shame we can't be there oh man <laughs> yeah it's such a, such a shame but and also thanks to my family thanks to for all their support and love yeah thanks Cecile Maria thanks for making a great film now Mimi Ploche will announce the big winners of our feature competition Hello again. Uh, thank you, Anthony. And again, congratulations to all the winners. The uh, Chicago International Film Festival now celebrating our 57th year as the oldest competitive film festival in North America. The top prizes in each competition is the Gold Hugo, which represents the spirit of discovery. 
Past Gold Hugo winners have included several filmmakers who have gone on to win top awards around the world, as well as internationally acclaimed filmmakers ranging from Alejandro Gonzalez Iñárritu, Oscar Farhadi, as well as Wim Wenders, Christoph Kieslowski, Zhang Yimou, Robert Altman, Michelle Hanukka, and many, many more. This year's international feature film competition featured 13 feature length films from celebrated filmmakers. The jury is composed of award-winning directors, film scholars, and journalists, and film programmers from around the world. And I wanted to welcome this year's jury who have spent the last week with us in person celebrating cinema. It's so great to be here. So I would like to um, let you know who's on the jury. First is award-winning Italian filmmaker Gianfranco Rossi, who was also awarded the Artistic Achievement Award for his film Noturno last year. It's great to have you in Chicago. Award-winning Iranian filmmaker Shafram Mokri, who won the Silver Hugo Jury Prize last year for his film Careless Crimes. Um, film scholar and award-winning writer Barbara Klinger, Buenos Aires-based film journalist and film festival programmer Juan Manuel Dominguez, and Canadian filmmaker Patricia Rosima. Thank you so much to you all for spending the last week with us. It's been such a pleasure having you back with us, being back in the theater and back together. So first, please welcome Juan Manuel Dominguez to announce our first award. Hello, everyone. My name is Juan Manuel Dominguez, and I just want to state on record that I'm not the best journalist in Argentina. So <laughs> I don't want anyone angry at me at home. Um, I'm part of the jury of the International Future Film Jury. And on our side, um, I believe myself and my fellow members, if you remember, mm -hmm. just want to say thank you to the festival. This is a beautiful festival. A heartfelt festival that uh, made us remember what it was like to <laughs> watch movies for 10 days and to see how beautiful that is for us, how much it defines of what we want to do and how we want to feel the world. So thank you so much for that. That being said, I'm going to start with a mention. Honorable, what you have to do with me, you have already seen that I'm not from here, so I'll deal with the other guys. We have an honorable mention that goes to Prayers for, for the Stolen, which is Noche de Fuego in my language, directed by Tatiana Hueso. In a media culture that abounds with stories about Mexican drug cartels that tend to focus on the men involved and the macho environments that support them, Hueso offers a different perspective. She concentrates on the women who work in the poppy fields for the cartel and whose daughters are often stolen by the cartel from their homes, never to be seen again. The story of how mothers try to protect their daughters and how those daughters come of age in these deadly circumstances offers a perspective on the cause of the drug trade. <laughs> are we okay? <laughs> Perfect. I do that a lot, so thank you. Um, here with us is producer Jim Stark to accept the award. So, Hi, um, I'm, I'm here in Mexico City. We had a big week this week because our film was chosen as the uh, Mexican Oscar entry. Um, but this is also great um, uh, on behalf of uh, uh, my producing partner, Nico Celis, uh, on behalf of our distributor platform, Netflix, and especially on behalf of our cast and crew, uh, who worked really long hours um, in a small village in the mountains uh, for over two months uh, with no telephone, no internet to make this movie. Um, I wanted to thank Mimi and her team for including the film in this very important festival. And of course, thank the jury for their award. But my main job here is that Tatiana couldn't join uh, today. So she asked me as one of the producers to read this brief message from her. And she said, I feel very honored and grateful for this special mention. Thank you very much to the jury for having valued our film. Noche de Fuego is a small window through which you can see one of the difficult realities that we live in Mexico. My heart rejoices to know that this story has received, has reached audiences at the Chicago Film Festival. Thank you very much to the festival and the programmers for having embraced our film. And that's from Tatiana Hueso. Um, if you didn't see the film in Chicago uh, at the festival, it's gonna be on Netflix starting in the middle of November. It's a unique movie and I urge you to try and watch it. Thank you again very much. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Barbara Klinger, and I'm delighted to be joining you this morning and talking about the awards that our 
jury has given out uh, for the, this, this year's film festival. And I'd, I wanna echo uh, Juan's comments and thanks to the festival organizers, uh, Vivian Tang and Mimi Plache. It's been a true pleasure being here and working with them and working with my fellow jurists. So all very happy and good. Um, I'm here to present the uh, award for the silver plaque for the best art direction. And I'm also very happy to announce that it goes to Sergei Febrilev for Captain Volkanagov Escaped, um, directed by Natasha Merkulova and Alexei Chupan. The art direction in this film creates one of its boldest and most expressive visual elements. It vividly conveys not just the historical period of 1938 during Stalin's reign, but also the relentless horror of this murderous era, fusing style with unmistakable socio-political critique. And that's along with the other beautiful things it does cinematically. So congratulations to Sergei Febrilev. And indeed we have a message from him um, as he's accepting this award. Мечта любого кинематографиста – найти некий универсальный язык, который будет понятен всем без границ. В фильме «Капитан Волконогов» мы искали этот язык и в изображении. И я очень признателен и благодарен Чикагскому фестивалю за то, что он оценил нашу работу, подтвердив наше стремление и доказав нечетность наших усилий. Спасибо большое. Hello, everyone. My name is Shahram Mokri. And... The Silver Hugo for Best Cinematography goes to Kasper Taksem for The Worst Person in the World by director Joachim Trier. Shooting on 35 millimeter, Taksim uh, captures an intensified urban landscape for color and light to animate and deepen this contemporary romantic comedy with a reliance on national light for new Morris scenes and carefully rendered interiors using artificial light plus a, a standout scenes when the heroine runs through streets where everyone is frozen in time. Tyson fluidly demonstrates the rich capabilities of film as a medium by infusing the worst person in the world with a lively visual imagination. Please welcome to cinematographer Casper Tyson. Hello, Chicago. My second city. I am. Um, I was fortunate enough to shoot a TV show in 2011 called Boss. It was such a dear experience to me to be in that city. So also a great pleasure and honor to win this award. Um, of course, thank you, Joachim Tria, the director, who insisted on shooting 35 millimeter film and taught me how to use a dolly again. Uh, big thanks to my friend, Olivier Coutet, the editor, who makes me look better. And uh, uh, Julien Allery, our color timer, who also did an amazing job. Thank you, guys. On a darker note, I have to send out my condolences to Helena Hutchins, family, friends, colleagues. She died of a tragic accident yesterday on set shooting, um, an accident that should have been avoided. It could have been avoided. A reminder for us to think twice on a movie set and take care of each other. So much love. Thank you. The next award is the Silver Hugo for the best screenplay and goes to what do we see when we look at the sky by Alexandre Kobritze, uh, capturing tiny moments of day-to-day -day life in the Georgian town of Kutasi, including the point of view of a sibling, the uh, writer-director Alexandre Kobritze uh, delicately creates a script that revels in the many different narrative and a, uh, a stylist, uh, uh, sorry, uh, a stylistic approaches that cinema affords the ad uh, adventurous filmmaker. Be it breaking the fourth wall uh, or documenting daily read, the script produces a playful and absurd fable that 
reflects the messy, gentle magic of life and love. Please welcome to writer director Alexander Kovaritsa. Hello, everyone. Can you hear us? I think so. Um, I'm Alexander Kovaritsa. This is my brother Georgi, who wrote the music for the film. And we're just, uh, we just arrived in Vienna, so it's the most strange uh, way to accept an award. Our laptop is uh, uh, on a coffee machine where we take our uh, electricity. So I'll be short because we can be taken by securities uh, any moment. So this is the suspense. Um, um, it's, I really didn't expect it uh, award and especially in, uh, for the script, but I'm really, really happy. Our grandfather was a script writer, so um, I think we will dedicate this award to him. Uh, and uh, also, of course, this uh, this award belongs to the whole team. I think everyone who was involved, and especially I think uh, also to our father, who also plays a small role in the film and whose uh, favorite music band is Chicago. Um, so thanks to everyone and uh, see you next time. Thank you. So I'm not at the airport, as you can see, and that was fantastic. And I'm here to introduce the Silver Hugo, or Hugo, if you were born in Buenos Aires, for best made performance. It actually goes to Bully Daners. It nobody has to know, directed by Bully Daners. Um, with subtlety and power, the nurse embodies the story of a man who temporarily loses his memory to a stroke and struggles to understand who he was and who he might wish to become. Lanner's intimate performance and his character's transformation from a confused amnesiac to a man restored to his memories is quiet and completely in keeping with the star reserve of the Scottish community in which he lives. We have with us um, a very happy video for very happy bully learners mm -hmm. saying very happy things in a very happy festival. Hello, uh, I'm Bully. Uh, I'm in France for the moment. I'm shooting in a movie in the mountains, as you can see. Uh, I would like to say thank you. Thank you to receiving this award. Uh, it makes me very happy, very proud and also very surprised because it's the first time I play in English in a movie. Uh, it's may maybe the last time, I don't know. But anyway, it's the first time I receive an award in States. So it makes me very, very proud and very, very happy. You make me happy today. Thank you for this. Thank you a lot. I love you. Take care. Bye bye. Hello, everybody. My name is uh, Gianfranco Corosi, And I'm uh, pleased to announce that uh, the silver Hugo for best female performance goes to Michelle Fairley in Nobody Has to Know, directed by Booby Lanners. We, we just so uh, Fairy offers audiences a dignified character who, along with actor Booby Lanners, finds herself in a deeply conflicted later in love story. The flawed character she creates reveals her loneliness and sometimes unwise choices with grace and death. And uh, the next award, the next award is the, the Silver Hugo. And I'm reading. The Silver Hugo for Best Director goes to Peter Kerkes for 107 Mothers. With a stroke, now I moved, <laughs> thinking <laughs> about the strong film. And uh, with a strong background in documentary filmmaking, Carcass brings his unique eye for authenticity to this first fiction film. Setting a woman prison in Ukraine for new mothers and their babies, he avoids easy pitfalls of sentimentality. His uh, unflinching presentation of institutional causeness is constantly cinematic, political, and moral. Throughout an austere mise-en-scene and a series of understated performances, Carcass creates a captured, somber environment, leavened by a rare moment of tenderness. We have this video. Thank you. Hello. Uh, thank you uh, very much uh, for the word. Uh, it's uh, for me like 
coming back home because uh, I received the uh, Hugo for the best documentary in 2009 for my film uh, Cooking History. I'm really very, very moved and uh, pleased to uh, to receive uh, such a big uh, award. Um, I would like to thank, uh, especially thank to the all mothers uh, in the prison number 74 in Odessa, uh, because it's not my film, it's really our film. Uh, this woman, they gave to this film uh, really a lot from their lives and their personalities and everything. So I, I would like to thank first of all to them and uh, of course uh, also to my mother and to my family that was supporting me during these long six years while we were uh, preparing and working on this film. And uh, uh, I have a chance uh, to congratulate to Sergei Loznica, uh, whose uh, film and way of filmmaking was uh, inspiring me a lot. So uh, thanks to him also. All the best. Bye. Hi, I'm, I'm back. Um, and I'm delighted to present the Silver Hugo Jury Award to Drive My Car by director uh, Raisuke Hamaguchi. Hamaguchi offers a story about a multilingual restaging in Japan of Anton Chekhov's Uncle Vanya to contemplate the associations between art, loss, and human connection. Through a film that is part road movie, part romantic melodrama, and part self-reflexive take on aesthetic craft, the director considers the role of control in the artistic process when it should be exercised and when it should be relinquished to produce a complex and thought-provoking study of human relationships in the wake of the death of loved ones and so much more. So many congratulations to director Hamaguchi. こんにちは。え、ドライマイカー監督共同脚本担当しました浜口隆介です。え、この度、え、シカゴ国際映画祭、え、インターナショナルコンペティションの部門で、え、審査委員賞、え、ドライマイカーがいただいたということで、え、俺を申し上げます。本当にありがとうございます。え、この映画、村上春樹さんの同盟の小説を映画化したものですけれども、村上春樹さんの物語自体から、ま、とても大きな力をいただいたというふうにも思っています。原作者の村上春樹さんにま
um, in the classrooms um, at the Chicago Filmmakers, at the Film Center, Facet, the Music Box, and of course at the Chicago International Film Festival. So this award is very meaningful uh, to me and makes me um, grateful, feel very grateful for the experience there. Um, Memoria was a dream um, and I value greatly um, its journey uh, from Colombia to Chicago. Um, it's, a, it's a big collaborative work with many lives behind it. So I'd like to thank you, uh, the jury members and the festival so much uh, on behalf of my team members and uh, on behalf of uh, Tilda Swinton, who would jump with joy uh, with the news. Uh, and also from the producers and the team at NEON. We are overjoyed. Um, we are grateful to be able to share this film uh, in the cinema and to celebrate the strength of this ritual. Uh, so thank you also to, to the audience uh, who came and also to the theater staff, to the projectionists, to make this experience possible and I hope that we can keep this ritual alive for a long time. Thank you very much. Congratulations to all the winners of uh, this year's Chicago International Film Festival. Um, on behalf of Vivian Tang, Managing Director and all of the jury, we wanted to say thank you, congratulations, and have a great day. Thank you. <laughs> See you at the movies.